Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and welcome to another edition of Ask Tony. Today I'm going to talk to you about how do you be a strong leader around women. This is a topic that I really love talking about and the reason being is because many guys in the community, they make leadership into this thing where you're just leading and the girl is just following you. And they're not even looking at the consideration of leadership. Because leadership is clearly knowing where you're going plus consideration of whoever you're leading. That's the key to leadership. Leadership is you knowing where you're going internally and moving to that place without any wavering and at the same time being considerate of the people that you're leading, whether it be a woman or people of a group, whatever it may be, that's the strong thing that you need to know about leadership is that it comes from the strength that's inside of you uh, of the ability to be able to uh, be clear and go because that's a really discomforting thing to do. Any guy that's just getting into seduction, um, you're gonna start to understand that leadership is the thing that you need to start doing more. So, for the guys you know who are starting out, I do wanna tell you Leadership is the thing that's going to be able to boost your game immediately. It's going to be able to take you from where you are to where you need to go very, very rapidly too. Because a lot of times is that guys just starting out, they don't know how to lead. They don't know what leadership means. They don't even know who's giving out the right uh, tools on what leadership is all about. So they're just going with whatever source they've been given and they're going out there and they're fucking it up. The good thing about it is that you need to fuck it up. It needs to be consciously competent until you're able to just go, okay, in this moment, I know I'm gonna do this and just do it. And then with that type of leadership, that's gonna be the way you're gonna be able to break through women's resistances and things like that and, be, and have it be healthy. So to set the groundwork for any guy that's starting out, I just wanna let you know what leadership means. Leadership means being able to guide a woman past what she is resisting in herself and with you. But a lot of times I say with you because I want you to understand, but it's actually within herself. Because a woman actually, she, she doesn't want to resist. She doesn't. She, don't, she doesn't want to resist you, but she knows that she must. She must resist you in some way to see can you actually lead. She wants your guidance in a sense of take me to a place that I don't have to take on this masculine role. I don't have to be in this masculine place. Because she, what she's doing all day a lot of times in this day and age is taking on that masculine energy and working with that day in and day out and she just wants to submit. So when you're beginning and you're going out there, you're going to run up against um, a lot of women saying things to you like, you know, uh, oh, no, no, I just want you to make the decision. Because what you're going to do sometimes is that, what should we do? And that what should we do, that ambiguity is going to be, uh, is really distasteful to her. Because if, she's, if she really wants to be in her feminine and allow you to lead, you need to understand that when a woman is in her feminine, she doesn't want to uh, take on the law of conservation by making sure that she takes on the masculine all of a sudden. She wants to stay in that place and she wants you to take care of everything and just trust that you have everything under control. So, beginner guys, just go out there and just start leading. You know, fuck it up, but understand that it's actually just guiding a woman to a place within herself so she can submit to you. And to do that, you're gonna have to verbally express leadership and bodily express leadership. And leadership is literally just knowing where you wanna go and going to that place and bringing a woman along with you and being considerate along the way. You're gonna fuck it up at times, but it's good for your journey. Now, guys who are in the middle, guys who've been doing it for a while, but you still have some things you need to work on, how do you be a stronger leader around women? Begin to start saying, okay, I've learned how to be a leader and I've learned how to lead women, but at what times do I need to lead even more? And at what times do I need to be more considerate? So I find out in the middle with guys when I learn their leadership, they just have, they've learned how to say, okay, let's go here. Okay, let's do this. And that let's, that's just not taking any on anything about permission. They're just talking about, let's do this and let's, we're going to go this way. And she's saying, okay. And it's, it's good that you're comfortable with that. But I, what, what I want you to understand with leadership at the intermediate level is that there are some elements that 
you need to start understanding more. And that is consideration plus persisting more to, through resistance that you currently are not comfortable with. And that's everything from in the beginning when a woman is giving you a lot of resistance um, in the beginning of interaction. Don't look at that as, you know, she is uh, being bitchy. Start to look at that as, okay, every single mood that she's giving me, I'm going to allow her to be that and just keep guiding her back to her place of truth. Keep guiding her back to her heart. Keep guiding her back to her most feminine place because that's what she wants. And all it takes is the gaze. All it takes is when she's saying all these things, it's just a gaze. And it's unwavering gaze. That's what it is. You're unwavering in the fact that you want to take her to that place. So let your eyes be the expression of the way you want to bring her back to that place within. And of course, with different other things that you're doing as far as like leading women and stuff like that, it's probably a pace that you can move faster than what you're doing now. So you have the adequate ability to lead, but where can you start to lead stronger? And this is when I start to move into the advanced guys, the guys who've been doing it for a while and know how to lead really well. They know how to deal with resistance from women. Now your thing is, is to start to uh, lead on a you know larger scale within yourself, to be more clear about what you want in life, to be more clear when you're with the woman bodily and through your eyes about what it is that you want. So I noticed that when I was moving from being somebody who could lead kind of, because I used to be scared of leadership because I came from a household that you know leadership to me wasn't ever presented to me. And any time that leadership was, it was like really aggressive and very violent. So as far as like man to woman relationship, I didn't have a good relationship to leadership. And I had to learn it, I did. And I had to go through that phase of moving from intermediate to advanced in the way that I was a leader around uh, women. And that's everything on an advanced level from being a leader around women, just one woman and women in groups. So you start to lead on a larger scale than guys who are intermediate because you understand the uh, balancing of softness plus strong, softness plus hard. You understand that. And you, the fact that you understand it so well, you're going to be able to be a strong leader around women. But the fact that you're a strong leader, I want to tell you this. You have more responsibility than most men out there in the world because most guys won't even get to your level. And very good for getting there. But also what I want you to understand is you're going to get tested by women more. And women, when women test you more, love when they test you. Fall in love. Fall in love every single time they test you. Just really do. Because she's testing you because she wants to trust you. Really take that on. Really take on the fact that, yeah, so this woman is testing me. I've done, I've done this a million times. Test me even more. And allow her to do that. Because the more you invite her to test you, the more you invite more out of her, the more she's going to like you. Sometimes even love you. Really. So... Guys who are on an advanced level, keep doing what you're doing. Very fucking good for getting that high. Um, what the thing that I want to give you, the challenge that I want to give you, is the ability to keep uh, expanding with your leadership and never ever become complacent within it. Keep um, allowing more and more to come out of a woman, and just keep loving whatever's coming out of her. Really, because you're already at a great level of leadership and being strong around women. For guys who are at an intermediate level, what I would say for you is. Be sure that when you're out there trying to lead women, that you're leading women to a place that's better than what they were before, and you're penetrating through more resistance than you have before. Because you're gonna notice that the more leadership that you give uh, to women, the more that they're going to uh, love it, but at the same time resist it at times. Because you're gonna be doing it more, you're gonna get more resistance from uh, women. And you're gonna, because you're gonna be interacting with women and going for that uh, pool very quick, you're gonna be going for, going very quick with women uh, when it comes to uh, leading them around the club or when it comes to leading them on instant date, you're going to get that much more and women giving you things that sometimes even seems backwards and like they're talking in a loop and they're like, I don't know. And you need to just penetrate through that. Even sometimes saying, yes, you know you want to go on a date with me right now. You can just stop uh, trying to resist. This is okay. Let's just go on a date. And just allow her to do that. Sometimes you can verbally say it. Integrity goes really far nowadays. A lot of guys are believing that integrity just doesn't fucking work. And they have this idea that, you know, when you start saying stuff of, of integrity like that, women are not drawn to that, which is the furthest from the truth. Because I speak with women, I speak to women with integrity all the time. And even more now, I was in a room with a girl and the whole time she just 
was like, I want to have sex with you, but I know I have a boyfriend, and I know I want to do this. And I know my integrity was saying, I'm horny as shit, so I said, uh, can we masturbate in front of each other? Um, can we, uh, I'll just masturbate in front of you. <laughs> I just knew that I wanted to fucking uh, get my jizz off in a sense of, but having a great experience with her. So it wasn't disconnected from my heart. It was still something I wanted to share with her because I felt like it wasn't the last time we were going to see each other. When she works things out with her boyfriend, you know, if we, if we do, if we don't see each other, I just knew that my integrity was telling me, get this come out of you and have a great experience with her right now. And I felt the openness of her and also the, unwa the, the wavering that she had. So I knew I could be strong in trying to put that on her, but then I was allowing her freedom of choice to come through um, in doing that because I was clearly giving her some. And then she was just like, eventually she just said no and she wanted to go, which is fine. And at the end, of course, I said to her, uh, which is being a strong leader, this is a situation that me and you're not going to put each other in again. I know that you, uh, unless we do it, if we put each other in a situation again, uh, we're going to have to fuck, really, because uh, we are there with each other and we really like each other, but we know we can't do it because you have somebody. Uh, I'm not willing to cross your boundaries, but that's, that's uh, the way it is. And she's like, I know. And I was like, well, I'm looking forward to hearing what you're um, going to tell me. Um, I'll be back here in a month or so, and I'll see what happens. So I leave it at that, and I know I can go meet. I'm dead. I'm going to go meet another girl tonight. I just know it. So uh, she's just um, a woman that's in my experience, but I know that she is somebody that you know. Even if she doesn't see me again, I'm on to meeting a no, new woman. So, and the, all you guys who are, you know, in the beginner, I just want to tell you to start to. Go out there and just be okay with being clear with what you want. Start to verbalize what you want until you can bodily express it. Because the more you verbalize it, the more you're going to be able to live it out as well. Because a lot of times it's hard to uh, just live it out without you know verbalizing it. Sometimes, so you got you know saying let's go here or um, saying let's do this or let start out with let's. Just when you're with the woman, start out with let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And that latch is gonna allow you to be more comfortable with leadership. And then when a woman resists you in that, go a bit further and when she resists you, see if she actually give you the truth of how she feels or is that just something she's feeling in the moment because she's not really feeling it. So leadership is something that I would say is a skill and it takes many, many uh, fuck ups for you to get good at it. It takes women resisting you and saying no and being really rude sometimes for you to really get what leadership is all about. Now, I've just ranted on with leadership and I kind of didn't go in any clear direction because I didn't want to. I just wanted to give you guys the overgrossing view of what it means to be a strong leader with women. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make another video some other time that's going to just uh, allow you to know in depth what leadership is all about. So this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. Thank you for tuning in to Ask Tony. And I'm really excited about all the shit that's happening uh, for me this year and all my productivity. So subscribe below to Essence Solo and I'll see you in the next video.